Hi, Gen Com 1 students. Um, <laughs> the captions made that funny. Uh, Gen Chem 1 students. Um, <laughs> I'm making a quick video to show you how to do the peer review assignment for our silver solder introduction. So um, this is one of my lab sites. I'm impersonating a student right now. So this should be fairly similar to what you see. All right, so first we're gonna scroll down to where it says lab reports and assignments. There's a billion ways to navigate in Brightspace. This is just one of them. So um, if we click on that link, this student has a lot of overdue work. Uh, it's not a real person, it's just a fake account. But if we scroll down to what's due for this week, in this case, this is my Tuesday lab section. So it's due tomorrow um, at 10 8. If we click on this, it's going to allow us to interact with the peer review system. It's called Peer Mark. And so basically, you're going to go ahead and upload something here by selecting your file. You can name it something. Um, I'll just pick a random file. I don't even know what that is, but that's what I'm going to pretend is my submission. Um, and it will take the name of the file there, or you could change it if you wanted to. Um, you can also type directly into here, but it won't save a copy of it for you. So I wouldn't do that. Um, you can also upload through Google or OneDrive or any of these systems. But basically, you're going to click Upload and Review. Um, this was a an image, but you'll be able to see your text here when you when you submit a file that has text, and you'll just click Submit to turn it in once you're satisfied that that's correct. Turn it in is the name brand of the of the company that makes PeerMark, so that's why it says Submit to turn it in. It takes a minute, but eventually we'll get a complete menu here. Okay. So it took a second because I had uploaded uh, an image file and it took a really long time, but with a regular document, um, it's much faster. Okay, so once you've properly submitted your introduction draft here, you'll see it appear in the file list. And I think we can click on it here to see, see the actual file again. Yeah, so that's that you can download the same file that you just uploaded using those icons, either the one that looks like a little square or the download icon. So that's the initial thing you need to do, and that is due by um, different times and dates depending on your lab section. So make sure you look at the announcement and the due date section of your lab um, for, for the actual due date for your assignment. After the due date passes, then you'll need to go back in and click um, Peer Mark Reviews. And there will be two labs, two submissions from your peers listed here. Um, it's not past the date, it, so I can't see anything just yet. But once it is past the due date for the introduction, draft, then um, the computer automatically assigns you to two random students and you're going to write your review for both of them. There's a couple of questions you'll answer, three questions for each person. Um, but the basic idea is that you're sharing information that's going to help them get a better grade. So um, it's expected that you're going to provide some substantive feedback. That means that you're going to say things like, your hypothesis was very understandable, but I don't know if we tested in this reaction or we do test it in this reaction, but perhaps reword it in this way. So really sub substantial changes for the improvement of your peers' work. Um, if your answers are just, oh, it's great, oh, it's perfect, um, that's not going to get you credit for the peer review. Sometimes we want to be nice, um, which is um, not a bad thing, but it isn't going to help them get an improved grade. So remember that that's your focus. You're trying to show them ways they could make their introduction stronger. 
And no paper is perfect. Even if I submitted an introduction, there are definitely changes that should be made to make it stronger. Okay, so I'll give you um, a rubric in lab about the introduction, and you'll get to look at two other students' attempts at writing an introduction. So by the time you revise this and you write the rest of the lab report, hopefully you have a really good understanding of what a good introduction looks like.